So in this video, I'm going over the questions for the Mach 10 review. So starting with this second one here and third one, this is just focusing on simplifying, right? So like I notice here, I can't do anything really with just X by itself, X minus 25. So that's why we're going to leave it. However, we do have to factor the denominator, the bottom, because we do have the three terms, right? The trinomial. So again, we're always factoring by what numbers multiply to get 50 and add to get negative 27. Well, 25 and two, but negative 25 and negative two, because the two negatives multiply, right? To make a positive and add to get a negative. So now when you cancel out, remember, right? See how there's nothing up top. So really there's still a one. So that's why here you have one over x minus two. Now for the next one, again here, we can factor out for x, right? Because they both have an x. And here that means you have x, but now plus three, right? Because 12 divided by four gets you your three over. Now here we can factor this because see how now it's not just x, it's x squared. So that's a special case of taking the square root. So like what's the square root of nine? Three. So this is x plus three times x minus three. So now we can cancel out and notice you have four x up top and x minus three in the bottom. So that's why it's D. So now question number four, you're focusing on which of these expressions represents this simplified. So like here, for example, I like going ahead and factoring that, right? Well, how does that look? Well, that is, seven times, because you can divide both by seven. So that's x, but now minus two, because 14 divided by seven is two. So notice how you have seven times x minus two, and then over your x minus five times x plus three. So that's why here, when looking at the answer choices, the answer is C, because notice that's seven times, the x minus 2, which is what we have here, over x minus 5 times x plus 3. It's just been separated instead of put together as 1. So like here, for example, the reason why it's not a. Well, if you notice, you can cancel out the x minus 5. So notice how absolutely, right? You've got that 7 times x minus 2. Notice how now you only have x plus 5 in the bottom because they got canceled out. So that's again why the answer here is C. So now question numbers five through eight are focusing on our multiplication and division. So remember when multiplying, no special step or anything, right? We just need to factor. Now I don't need to factor anything in the first one, right? Notice how M is by itself. Now we do need to factor though here. So here, what numbers multiply to get 24 and add to get negative 10? Well, six and four, but in this case, negative six and negative four. Then nothing we can do with M plus two, right? Because M is by itself. So now notice you cancel out M minus four and you are left with M minus six over M plus two. Now when dividing, we do need to keep change flip. So we're going to keep the first over x plus 2 and multiply by flip the second. So x minus 8 and 3x squared minus 24x. Now we start factoring. Now notice you do have a trinomial here. So what numbers multiply, right, to get negative 16 and add to get, oh, I forgot that there was a typo on this one. Sorry. This was supposed to be um, x squared minus 6x, I apologize. So x squared minus 6x. So what numbers multiply to get negative 16 and add to get negative six? Well, negative eight and positive two, because here again, they've got to multiply to get the negative and add to get negative six. Negative eight plus two is negative six. Then bring down x plus two, because x is by itself, nothing we can do. Now we'll go to the next. Nothing here we can do with x minus eight. However, we can factor these two terms here because I can divide both by not just three, but three x, right? Because they both have an x. 
Now I've got inside my parentheses, you've got here x, then minus, not 24, right, but now 8. So here, when canceling out, notice x minus 8 cancels out, but not both of them. If there's only one, you can only cancel out one, then x plus 2. So really, you're just left with, up top, x minus 8 over 3x. Then same thing again here, right? You need to keep, change, flip, because we're dividing. So 5a over the a squared, right? We're going to keep that first, but multiply by the reciprocal, 7a plus 35 over 7. Now we start factoring. Well, nothing we can do with 5a, right? Bring it down. But we can factor our trinomial here. So again, numbers that multiply to get negative 5 and add to get 4. Well, positive 5, so positive 5 and negative 1. It's 5 and 1, right? Multiply to get 5, so positive negative, and add them, you still get positive 4. Then times. Now, can we factor the top? Absolutely. We can divide both of these by 7. Now, just 7. Then here you've got a plus 35 divided by 7, which is 5, then over 7. So now canceling out, we've got a plus 5, and we also have two 7s. So that's why we're just left with 5a over a minus 1. So now in number eight, we're finding the area of a rectangle. If this is the width and this is the length. So that, or length and width, sorry, length and width. Yeah, there we go. And area is length times width. So that's another way of saying we are taking these two expressions and we are multiplying them together. So 4a minus 16 over a minus 2 times a squared plus 3a minus 10 over 2. And now really, right, because we're just multiplying, no need to keep change flip, we're just going to start factoring, which I can factor our top because I can divide both by 4. So here, a minus 16 divided by 4 is 4 over a minus 2. Then times, now take the three terms. Because here, what numbers multiply to get negative 10 and add to get 3? Now keep in mind, right, the signs have to be different because they're multiplying to get a negative. So what factors multiply to get 10? 5 and 2. Then add to get 3. So positive 5, negative 2. There's your positive 3. Then that's just good old 2. We can bring that down. So now notice we can cancel out a minus 2. So here we've got 4 and times a minus 4 over a plus 5 over 2. Now, just a heads up, you could leave it or notice you've got 4 divided by 2. Well, what is 4 divided by 2? 2. So 2 times a minus 4 times a plus 5. So that is the same as this expression here. So now the adding and subtracting. So keep in mind, right, if they have nothing in common, nothing can be factored out, right, like a trinomial, then we're going to do like our cross multiply here. So here that means we've got to multiply this by 4r plus 4 and multiply this fraction or 3r by 5r minus 5. So now here, notice, you're going to end up with, so 3r times, oops, so 3r, oh, goodness gracious, there we go, times the negative 5. So 3r times 5r is 15r squared, because that's r times r, r squared, minus 15r from negative 5 times 3. Now notice you do have two binomials here. So this is box method. We're gonna have to do box here. So 5r plus six and 4r plus four. So here I've got 20r squared, right, from r times r. Here you get 24r, 20r from five times four, and six times four is 24. Now, of course, always just like before, right, combine like terms. 
So here we've got plus 20 R squared because it's a positive plus 44 R from 24 plus 20 plus 24. Now, before we say this is our final answer, right? Do we have like terms to combine? Absolutely. First, we have 15 R squared plus 20 R squared, giving you 30 R squared. We also have negative 15 R plus 44 R, which gives us 29 R. So plus 29 R plus 24. That is our final answer, our numerator over our denominator, the 4 R plus 4 times 5 R minus 5. Now here, notice we're not going to do that cross multiply though, because we can factor here. So again, what numbers? Multiply to get 2 and add to get 3. 2 and 1. X plus 2, X plus 1. So with that factor, that means, see how this one is over X plus 1? That's why we multiply by X plus 2 here, because that's what's missing. So we're going to multiply by x plus 2. We still bring down the first, right? x minus 1. Nothing need to be done. But multiplying, this is a positive, right? Because we're adding. So x times x, x squared. And x times 2, 2x. Two now we do have like terms to combine. We have 1x here plus 2x is here, making that 3x. Now I'll just write it standard form, but x squared plus 3x minus one, or you could leave it out of that order and then over your denominator here, x plus two times x plus one. So then here in number 11, again, now we're subtracting. Is there anything, oops, is there anything that these two denominators, can we do anything? No, and also notice the answer choices. We're just multiplying them together. So again, we're gonna multiply here, nine r plus three, and here are first by 4r. So here, well, that's just 5 times 4r, which is 20r. Now, notice we're subtracting, so that's not just a positive 6. This is a negative 6. So we're multiplying negative 6 here. So that's why it's negative 54r. Then negative 6 times positive 3, negative 18. Now, before we say, are we done? Well, we're not, right? That's a 20R minus 54R, giving you negative 34R minus 18. So that's why the answer is D. Notice the numerator here. So then last here with number 12. Now notice here, we do have to factor. So I'm gonna go through now and factor. So what two numbers multiply to get six and add to get five? Three and two. So now because I've got x plus 3 and x plus 2, now notice here we already have x plus 2, so that means we multiply, we multiply by x plus 3. So bring down, right, the x squared plus 5x, but now we're not distributing 3, right, because again, see how we're subtracting? So this is a negative 3. So we're distributing negative 3 times x negative 3x, negative 3 times 3, negative 9. Now, do we have like terms? Yes, 5x minus 3x is 2x minus 9 over your denominator, the x plus 3 times x plus 2. So this um, in, this, in this video, I'm just going to go over the rational. So in the next video, I'm going to be going over the matrices questions.